what were your uh, initial thoughts when you saw the matchup with South Carolina? I mean, it's a, it's a good team. They got a good record. I mean, they got talent all the way across the board, so, you know, we decided to play. Uh, what about just the outback goal in general? It's been a while since the machine's been there. What do you, what do you think? I mean, you know, uh, ideally we would have wanted to uh, be playing in Pasadena, but the Outback Bowl was also a very good bowl. And, you know, we wanted to be selected to play in that bowl. There's a lot of focus on the line and the things you guys can do to get the running game going. What do you think are the, are the elements that we're missing that can improve over the next month? I mean, you know, just um, the very uh, fundamental things. Uh, know when you got to be, when you got to be there. Everybody, you know, playing in sync and, you know, it's... Uh, just things that you can work together with, you know, as far as cohesion goes, that can improve the design. What are your thoughts on being named uh, All Big Ten by the coaches? I mean, it's a huge honor. Uh, I just, you know, go out and try to play as hard as I can. And, you know, it's always uh, something especially, you know, be recognized by somebody. So, you know, I'm real uh, happy about that. Okay, last. Um, you don't go back to practice till Friday. What have you personally made with some of your teammates done to take advantage of the downtime and preparation for the season? I mean, everybody, um, everybody was aware that we still had another game to play, and you know, um, you see guys from you know the whole team in out the building all day doing what they can to, you know, stay game ready because they know that um, we got another one to go and we you know, plan to win. What goes into staying game ready? I mean, you know, staying in the weight room, staying on the field, drill work, everything that you can do to uh, keep yourself, you know, mentally, physically prepared to play football. It's been nice to kind of be able to take a little bit of a breather and get healthy and things like that, though. I mean, I'm sure it's um, it's done a whole lot for a lot of guys because you know, toy games in, you, you have guys, you have a few guys that are banged up, but yeah, it's um, you know, we're about to get back to the grind, ready to play another one. Kind of gone through a couple of bowl months now. Is there something that you've learned about how to prepare for it that you guys are more successful, obviously, last year than two years ago? I mean, just um, being aware that it's, uh, you know, you're taking a trip, but it's it's a trip that, you know, you have a specific purpose. It's a business trip. It's not like, you know, a trip that you're out there for leisure. And staying focused on the task at hand and, and, you know, trying to come up with that success. You guys fell short against the three top eight AP teams in the country. What would it mean to, to be able to put a stamp on this season with a, a win over a top 10, you know, 10 win SEC team? You know, we, we played our, you know, our fair share of uh, talented teams, and we, um, you know, we won to end our season the right way, and it would be a great way to go out.